Hello students. Let's continue with the string instructions. So in the last video we have discussed uh, move string byte. Another string instruction is compare string byte or compare string word. So this instruction is used to compare two strings. Uh, the source string is compared with that of a destination string and automatically the source index uh, register contents and the destination index register contents are incremented by one to point to the next byte okay as in the case of move string byte so here the source minus comparison means it is the same as that of normal comparison instruction source index uh, uh, register is pointing to the source uh, string okay uh, this uh, minus destination uh, destination string byte okay so this is performed and only flags are affected all the flags are affected and the contents of these operands in the memory, the strings remain same. The contents will not change. Only the comparison is done and after, uh, uh, the flags are affected with the comparison. Okay. After uh, this comparison and the flags are affected, SI is equal to incremented by 1 and DI is equal incremented by 1 automatically if direction flag is equal to 0 and if direction flag is equal to 1 you know that uh, SI is decremented by 1 and DI is decremented by 1 to point to the next byte like if you have two strings a source string and destination string okay so this is the source and destination this is pointed by the SI register and this is pointed by the DI register. With this instruction execution compare string byte, SI byte which is there in source is compared with the byte which is there in destination. This byte minus this is performed. Okay and flags are affected accordingly. Like if these two bytes are equal then zero flag will be set. If the two bytes are not equal, zero flag will be reset. Okay. All the flags are affected, but we check here only zero flag. Okay. So here, this instruction, uh, like after comparison, these are incremented to point to next byte. One byte is compared. Now it points incremented by one and point to next byte. So, if it is uh, clubbed with or pre uh, prefixed with repeat instruction, then this is repeated till the condition is satisfied. Okay. So, here generally what we use is repeat if equal compare string byte. Repeat if equal compare string byte. So, this compare string byte is repeated till the bytes are equal. Once it finds any byte which is not equal, then it comes out of the loop. And also, when, when you are using repeat instruction here. So, when the count becomes 0, like suppose if you are uh, comparing two strings which are of a string length is 10 bytes, then move count with 10 then use this instruction this instruction like it is repeatedly executed till uh, the count becomes zero or it finds any unequal bytes where this is used what is the application like to check the password isn't it so one password is already there like a stored password is there now you are to log in you enter a new password that is in destination okay so the uh, already set uh, password is pointed by si let us suppose 
and now you are entering a new password that is pointed by di so these two are compared if the passwords are like if they are equal then it will allow you to log in continue with the program allow you to log in if the passwords are not equal then it will tell you like you should write a program in such a way to tell the password is incorrect isn't it so for search applications you use this instructions compare string instruction okay so to uh, what will be the uh, program uh, sequence for this first we need to point si with offset of offset of this starting of the source so offset of let us suppose string 1 then uh, point this di with offset of string 2 then counter register must be loaded with string length what offset here string length you will specify this as did okay cx is loaded with the string length then clear because you want it to be automatically incremented si and di must be incremented to point to next bytes so clear direction flag now if you use this instruction repeat if equal compare string byte so this instruction will check uh, counter contents that is cx contents as well as zero flag after comparison flags are effected if zero flag is equal to 1 then it goes to next byte comparison okay it will be in loop till they are equal once one byte is it finds a byte which is not equal which are not equal then it comes out of the loop and also when count is zero then also it comes out of the loop so after this you can check whether it has come out of the loop with cx is equal to 0 or zero flag is equal to zero so depending on that you can write the further the program like if it is cx is equal to 0 after this instruction then you can say password is same so you can you are allowed to log in if cx is not equal to 0 when you come out of this loop then it means that inequality passwords are not equal so you write the program accordingly after this okay so this is the uh, this is about compare string byte then you have uh, scan string byte here again uh, i need not say like it is byte if it is word compare string word one word is compared one word of source is compared with one word of destination and flags are effected and uh, si and di contents are automatically incremented by two to point to the next word okay uh, scan string scan string byte or scan string word so this instruction is uh, to find to scan a block of a memory for one particular character like let us suppose you have in memory some 100 bytes okay so which is pointed by di di means that it is in extra segment always here whenever in string instructions whenever di is there the segment referred is extra segment so di is pointing to this you want uh, and al is loaded with some byte let us suppose in a, uh, in a string or in a uh, string you are looking for a carriage return the code for carriage return is 0d what will you do when carriage return is there it comes to uh, the uh, in display it should come to the next line okay so something like that al is loaded with some character now this instruction is used to search for this character in the uh, string of in a string okay string of 
by itself. Okay. So here uh, AL is loaded with 0D. So what is done is AL minus the byte pointed by DI. These two are compared and flags are affected. Okay, all the flags are affected, but we are of interest of zero flag. And after this comparison, DI is incremented by 1. DI is equal to DI plus 1. Automatically, it is incremented by 1. Okay, so this is what happens. AL comp contains compared with the byte which is present in a memory pointed by DI register and flags are affected and di contents are incremented by 1 to point to next memory location next byte okay so if these two are equal if i say this is also preceded with repeat so repeat if not equal here because if equal you should come out of the loop you are searching for that particular character if you find that character, then you should come out of the loop. So you use here repeat if not equal scan string byte. Okay, so here before this, you should load CX register with contents uh, like uh, what is the length of the string. So if it is 100, you should load CX register with 100, then clear direction flag. Also, you should point DI register move di register with the offset of this string okay the program uh, instruction sequence must be like clear di direction flag load cx register with a count then move di like a point di with the start address of the string then use repeat not equal scan string byte so this instruction will uh, compare and which which uh, we need to load al register also al must be loaded with the character which is to be searched okay sorry like you can write here move al with 0dh okay it is loaded with the character which you want to search for scan for okay so these are the steps you need to write before using this instruction then use this instruction so this instruction will compare 0d with the byte which is present in memory and if they are not equal then cx is decremented by 1 isn't it cx is decremented by 1 and repeat if it is not equal to 0 then repeat so Automatically with this instruction DI, DI will be incremented by 1. DI is incremented by 1. Okay. So point to next, next byte. Now this byte is also compared. Flags are affected. That the, if they are equal then 0 flag will be 1. If they are not equal 0 flag will be 0. Okay. So depending on the 0 flag. If 0 flag is equal to. 0 not equal then repeat if 0 flag is equal to repeat the comparison and also if cx is not equal to 0 then repeat if 0 flag is equal to 1 that means if the bytes are equal or cx is equal to 0 then it should come out of the loop okay come out and execute the so next instruction is store string byte or store string word so this instruction is used like if it is a string byte this instruction is used to uh, store the contents of al register in memory like pointed by di register it is stored in the memory pointed by di register so di register means it is in extra segment okay so this is copied the contents of al is copied to the memory 
pointed by di register and then di is equal to di plus 1. This is automatically incremented by 1 if direction flag is equal to 0. Okay, so this is like moving the contents of AL register to memory. Okay, uh, here this can be preceded with repeat instruction. This can be preceded with the repeat instruction. Okay, so that let us suppose in uh, memory you want all the locations like you want uh, some 100 bytes starting from here. So there are uh, 100 bytes. You want all the bytes are to be loaded with 00, zero for initialization purpose. You want all the memory locations to be um, stored with 00. zero. Okay, so then you can point this memory with di register. Okay, then count to counter register. So, initialization, how you do this di with offset of string. String start address from where you want to store uh, zeros, zeros to the memory, memory. So, that initial location offset address is to be pointed by di register then clear direction flag then move uh, counter register with how many bytes like i want 100 bytes okay 100 then uh, move with what you want to store like al with 00h and then i can use repeat store string byte so this will store uh, zero zeros to the memory location starting from here till the next 100 bytes will be stored with zero zero because it is repeat instruction cx will be decremented by one every time and if it till it is equal to zero this instruction is executed that is store al contents to di uh, the memory location pointed by di register okay so this is how this store string byte works then uh, we have a load string byte or load string word here again if it is word then one word then you should uh, load ax register with 0000, zero, zero, zero and then you can use that uh, instruction okay so ax will be loaded with four zeros and you can use here store string word so di will be incremented by two automatically uh, then load string byte this is the reverse of this like contents of um, si uh, the contents of the memory location pointed by si this will be uh, loaded with uh, to loaded to al register this will be loaded to al register and if it is a word, then SI, uh, the memory contents which are pointed by SI, this will be loaded to AX register. Okay. Uh, and SI is automatically incremented by 1 or 2 depending on whether it is a byte or word. Okay. Here uh, repeat, you cannot use repeat here. There is no point because uh, to the same register you are loading from different locations. There is no point. Like this is just, uh, we, we need not, uh, we won't use repeat instruction preceding to this one. Okay. Uh, so this is about the string instructions.